This marks the first evening of Hanukkah. El Paso's Jewish community is celebrating the holiday with the first public menorah lighting of the year. ABC 7 Sarah Coria joins us live from the Shabbat Lubinovich Center for Jewish Life with more on the celebration. Sarah. And Stephanie, celebrations have moved on inside for the evening, but many of the Jewish faith came out to witness the first candle lit on that giant menorah you see behind me. They say the tradition honors a miracle that happened over 2,000 years ago, and it reminds them to find the light amidst the dark. When it's dark outside, when there's persecution, when there's confusion, instead of fighting against it by denouncing it, exposing it, understanding it, Get rid of it by lighting a candle. Light some light. Hanukkah honors a miracle, the Jewish faith says, happened over 2,000 years ago. It began when the Maccabees retook control of the Holy Temple. They lit a menorah to rededicate the temple and found their one day's worth of oil lasting eight days instead. Amid the unrest in Israel, Rabbi Greenberg says the faith of the Jewish community is unwavering. Whereas some would think that uh, anyone associated with Israel or that is Jewish would run and hide their association, we've seen just the opposite happening. Uh, people coming out of the woodwork, Jews coming forward and wanting to do things that are Jewish, be more involved with the Jewish community, and that is the lesson of Hanukkah. Rabbi Greenberg says celebrating the light of Hanukkah encourages positivity in all beliefs. When the darkness comes, uh, don't run away, don't hide from the darkness, but confront it not by fighting with the darkness, but by increasing in light. Instead of engaging in debates and you know, fighting with people online, do a mitzvah, do a positive good deed. And the first of eight candles was lit today. Now one candle will be lit each day until the 15th. But that's not the end for the festivities. The Hanukkah Playground, it is on its 23rd annual year. It will take place right here on Sunday. Reporting live in West El Paso, Sarah Coria, ABC7.